Hi, I'm Stan Winston. The toy company has been a long time coming. We've been planning this for years. What you have to know about me and the people who work with me is that we're fans. We love movies. We love action figures and really cool toys. And since toys have been made from almost all of our movie creations, we said, you know what? Let's do our own thing. And let's do characters no one's ever seen before. That was the start of the Stan Winston Creatures action figure line. The idea behind starting out with the Creature Feature series is that we could have the same artists who work on the movie create the figures as well. In fact, that's what we're doing for any figure that comes out of the Stan Winston Creatures. The same guys who have worked on all our famous monsters are going to be creating these toys. Welcome to the behind the scenes look at the visitor action figure from Day the World Ended. In the movie, a boy with extreme psychic powers manifests a creature from his imagination after watching a late night monster movie. But now the monster begins his rampage and the boy can't control his own creation. Day the World Ended is all about the monsters of our imagination and nightmares. In the story, the boy is watching an old scary movie on television when he manifests the monster. So the creature is in the style of the classic alien invasion movies. This type of monster was typical of science fiction films of the atomic age. A visitor from space with one eye and tentacle claws. Now here's something special about this action figure. Since the movie is about imagination, you never really get a full shot of the creature. You see a shape, teeth, claws, Sometimes that's the best kind of monster movie, where we let the audience fill in some of the gaps with their own imagination. But with the toy, we're bringing you the full character in all his glory. Since a lot of the action with the creature is in the woods outside a small town, we thought that would be a cool way to portray the character for the toy. Joey Orozco, a longtime artist with Stan Winston Studio, sculpted the character, and John Rosengrant, who's been with the studio since the beginning, created the base. We've done a lot of characters through the years like this. Predator and Pumpkinhead come to mind. It's where we take a really tall performer and create this suit around them. But this was different that we wanted to retain this mysterious and amorphic quality about the character, especially with the arms and legs. We intentionally designed it so that it wasn't too defined. We didn't want to see things like fingers. It was the shape and suggestion that was most important. The character and the base had to really work together. It had to be one seamless design. The tentacles and limbs of the alien are designed so that it works as sort of a camouflage when it's hiding in the woods. So when everything comes together, you have the creature at his most dramatic. In terms of colors for the paint scheme, we wanted to emulate the organic colors of its environment. The creature from Day the World Ended plays on a very simple fear. Walking through the woods and having your imagination get the best of you. Maybe he's out there, maybe he's not. <laughs> 